In this video, we will try and explore and understand the condition IPMN of the pancreas. Before we do that, it is important to understand the basic function of the gland pancreas, which sits behind the stomach. The pancreas has two main functions. It produces insulin, and that is important in preventing diabetes. The other main function is producing a clear fluid that travels down small tubes called side branches, and this is produced from the substance of the pancreas. And this fluid then travels down the main tube, the main duct of the pancreas, towards the small bowel seen over here. So if you have something to eat, the stomach will churn it up, but it will pass it along into the pancreas, and the food will arrive here. At this point, this clear fluid produced by the pancreas is rich in enzymes. These are chemicals that are going to break this food down into its constituents. So the pancreas has a main tube called the main duct, and then there are the side branches that bring fluid into the main duct called side branches. So now let's try and understand the condition IPMN and its two main variants, the side branch and the main duct. IPMN, the I is for intraductal. So let's just make a cartoon of the pancreas. So this is a condition that affects these tubes or the ducts of the pancreas, it's intraductal. And this condition is papillary, by which we mean that if this is a tube and it has a slight projection, then that would be a papilla. So this is papillary. And what is different is that in a section of the ducts or in the greater part, the main cells are replaced by a population of cells that now start producing mucin, which is thick, gloopy material that fills up these tubes and stops the pancreas from doing its function. So intraductal affecting the ducts, papillary making small projections, mucinous producing mucin. So this is happening either in the main duct called the main duct or in the side branches called side branch. IPMN of the pancreas, this is what it means.